Hello, this is Tom Cloud with my bi-weekly update. We have had emails pouring in about the market. It seems like all of a sudden everybody's not looking at economics. They know what's going to go on under the Biden administration. Here, here it is the 10th day of February and this morning inflation rate is already jumping after less than three weeks in office because of all the money being created. The dollar's taking a drop today. Gold is up significantly this morning and we're going to continue to see this and it's just uh, just think the other night I was watching and um, they had some of the uh, senators on there talking about student debt up to $50,000 per student that would cost the U.S. taxpayers one billion of uh, one trillion five hundred billion dollars just out of nowhere you just uh gonna pay everybody off where does the money come from it gets printed we know where it comes from we saw last year was the biggest deficit in the history of the united states is it hit a deficit of over 3.1 trillion and the deficit over the size of the gdp this has never happened in the history of the u.s it drives me crazy when investors sit there and are running out of time and they're not repositioning their assets and things that benefit from rising inflation, print of money, devaluation of the dollar, they've got to get in there or you're just, you're not being a good steward of your money, plain and simple. You need to be a good steward because things are very confusing. And one thing that's for sure is this administration through uh, raising uh, hourly rates, minimum wage uh, is going to drive a lot of fast food companies have to cut back. Prices will be passed along to us. Our hamburger prices will go up 10 or 15 percent. And it's just going to have all these things coming at us at one time. So what you got to do, but here's the thing. Most of it, they've already figured it out because when I looked this morning, and we're selling Silver Eagles at $8.30 over, the highest we've ever had to sell them for in the history of this country. All the way back to the 1970s when we could first own gold and silver directly after Nixon freed it in 1972. But we're now seeing that uh, Silver Eagles are at $8.30 and you can't get them. You can't get them. I looked on the internet this morning at a one of the major telemarketing firms, and they're getting $14 over spot for a, a Silver Eagle. We, we have Britannias, we have Kangaroos, we have Krugerrands at 480, and we can't keep them. We're three and four weeks behind on delivery, but at least we have them. We have the credit to go out and get these in there and sell them to you, and when they're shipped, we pay the suppliers, but we hold your money uh, in our account until it's time to they ship it and we have a, a uh, tracking number before we release it. All these things are being asked by you, the investor, about the tracking. How long does it take? Who holds the money? I'm trying to answer those today. But the main thing you need to be talking about is um, the, the price of physical silver is rising. Inflation is rising. When inflation rises, bonds go down. We'll see interest rates on mortgages going up, all that, because you can't flood any market with the kind of stimulus packages that they're being done. I mean, we're looking at $4 trillion. X, we had a $3.1 trillion budget deficit last year, and the year before that was the biggest ever at $1.7 trillion. Even under Obama's eight years, it only came to tra $12 trillion in deficits that was horrendous. Now, because the not all on Trump or Biden or anybody else, but the pandemic, you've got to decide how much you're going to put out there. If it's more profitable for someone to live than it is to work, what do you think they're going to do? Meanwhile, the, the workforce is going way down. Some are retiring. Some can't get a job. We're paying unemployment. We're paying stimulus. We want to pay off debt. We want to bring in 
refugees and pay them money. I mean, it's unbelievable. Where's the money going to come from? It's going to be printed. And remember a statement that not only I've made, but many have. There's never been a currency in the history of the world that went off the gold standard and survived. Not one. Not one. The dollar is falling. This morning it's getting racked. And gold is up substantially. But that's just the first of the start of what you're going to see. But now, with the central banks buying, and buying, when are we going to have a new currency? I mean, you guess, your guess may be as good as mine. But when I'm hearing out of Singapore and other places, it may be this year. We may see gold at 22, 2400 in the next month and a half. Some experts that are reputable think we're getting ready to see it turn loose because all this stuff, as soon as this impeachment thing is over Trump, they're going to pull their full power to printing money, printing money, and printing money on all these causes that I talked about. So you worry about paying $8.30 over spot for a Silver Eagle or $4.80 over spot for Britannia, Krugerrand, uh, Philharmonic. People, this is going to be cheap. I know it sounds crazy, but why would a, a, the U.S. Mint sell them when they can't replace them? The price is going up so fast to replace them, so they put a bigger premium. You think they're making a windfall? They're really not. They're really not. They know where the real market is. And it's not at spot price at $27.50 plus $8.30 for, a, uh, for an Eagle or $4.80 for the others I mentioned. So, and Gold Eagles today, today hit the highest price we've ever had to sell them for at 10% over spot. And Buffaloes are a little higher than that. These are things we historically sell at 5.75%. It's a four and a quarter percent premium on gold eagles. And gold is drying up all over the world because central banks want real money. And like I said, when you have a deficit over uh, the GDP and the debt over the GDP, it's un you can't fathom it. And now that we're at $28 trillion of debt, it just 3% average for all the debt the government owns on treasury bills, treasury notes, treasury bonds, it's over $800 billion in interest. $800 billion. The total budget of this country in 1980 was $500 billion. Now the interest on the debt alone is 60% higher. There's not a good ending to the U.S. dollar, and there's not a good ending to bonds and paper investments, and wait until the banks that have the right to take your money, or they take your 401ks and take them out and say you've got to put them into government securities. And who holds the, the roulette, the Russian roulette? China, Russia, and Japan own over eight trillion dollars of the 28 trillion of our debt when they want to absolutely kill the u.s bond market note market and, and it'll do it by just putting the stuff up for sale and then they've got to print that more and then it goes into a more hyperinflation we continue to have the biggest part of our business where people transferring and getting a self-directed precious metals IRA. If you're already retired and have a 401k, you can roll money out into two IRAs. Get you a self-directed IRA for stocks, bonds, and cash, and get you a self-directed IRA for precious metals. You can call Dan or I here in the office or Jade, and we'll help you get a custodian. We can be your uh, broker, your representative, uh, but we can't be your custodian, but we'll help you get a custodian. But you can give us a call at 800-247-2812. That's 800-247-2812. We'll be happy to fill that, uh, help you get a rollover going in your IRA. But let me tell you, there's no way that a man for silver and gold 
is going to go down. And we've seen all this purchasing now, uh, the solar panel silver. We're getting rumors of Chinese government burying silver. I mean, they're buying it, bringing it, going on government land, digging a hole and putting the silver in there, putting the dirt on it. They don't have to pay storage fees. They can guard it by satellite or they can guard it by whatever way they want to, sophisticated electronics. But you will not believe where silver is going to be. I, I'm not one to make uh, six, eight hundred dollar uh, estimates. What I'm talking about is going to an all time high of 50. We're talking about silver doubling from here in one year, two years, maybe three years. But where else are you going to go and have that kind of potential with less risk? There's not an investment on earth that has a better percentage of doubling in three years with the least downside risk than precious metals. If there is one, please let me know because interest rates are rising and it's going to stop what we've seen in real estate. It's not going to drive it down, but it's going to level off how it's been going up. So hopefully we've answered the questions about the premium, why they're so high. But like I said, I consider them not that high because when you get, I say, silver gets to 50, you'll probably have to sell your silver eagles for 60 to 65, just based on history, how much over spot they go for as they're rising. So while the premium is very high right now, it's nowhere near it's going. With this week's bi-weekly precious metals market update, this is Tom Cloud signing out.